Hello, so today is Monday the 16th of May. I'm just heading to uni, into uni now. Uh, in about 10 minutes I'm going to be doing a workshop called Earth Observation and Space Applications. It's about five hours, so let's see if it's any good. Remit, uh, to the extent that you have uh, active supervisors in the various areas. So, so back to start. Okay, so I decided to just stay uh, just for the morning part of the session. It was a bit too technical for me, um, so I thought I'd come to the lake, get some late lunch and a coffee. Um, it was quite useful. Uh, there were some things there that just confirmed some things that I'm working on at the moment and some things I want to do in the future, which is quite good, but it's just further confirmation. Um, again, can't stress it enough, this is one of the best things about doing a PhD, is you can just grab some lunch, go to the lake, have a lie on the grass. It's another, it's another great day. Um, but essentially you have the freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want. And I think it makes for very productive work because I, I really want to do some work in a minute after a little rest and it's going to be super productive. Okay, so I'm back in the office. It's coming to the end of the day now. It's half past eight. Um, and I just wanted to clear off a few things. I thought it was quite appropriate now that I'm, I'm still at the office quite late. Um, that I don't want to give off the impression that it's easy and it's just two to three hours a day. I didn't mean to make that point. Um, my point was that it's not worth your, uh, it's not worth forcing yourself to sit in the office unless you're inspired to do the work. Otherwise, it's inefficient and it's a waste of your time. Um, on the days that you're you, you feel happy to work, say 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., it feels like two and a half hours, three hours work, and the day just goes and you've achieved loads of stuff, but I didn't explain it very well. Um, I don't often reflect on the past, but when I do, I'm quite biased towards positivity, so I might have made it seem a bit not 100% right. Um, so I thought what I might do in this video is just do a little short thing about um, how I found my PhD. Um, so I used a really cool website called findaphd.com. It's as simple as that. And they've got loads of stuff, so I'll show you that now. Okay, so let's go to findaphd.com. And we'll be greeted straight away with a page and you can straight away start filtering your search by country, institution or subject. Um, let's for example have a look at economics. Uh, there we go. So you can see there are 110 PhDs and this website doesn't just have sort of maths and science ones, it's got everything, it's got loads of arts ones as well. Um, so you see it looks like a lot like a job listings page except it's for PhD projects. Um, on the left here you can filter by loads of different things, so institution or location. Um, you might notice that here we've got one from Australia, some from China. Uh, the website does pull loads of PhDs from around the world so you can narrow it down to say the UK or a certain place if you wanted. Um, so let's look at this one. For example, an examination of the determinants of socio-economic inequality and nutritional status in Egypt. Wow. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, so of course we've got the title. We've got a nice little description to prime you on what the background is, its context. Um, we've got some funding information. Um, so this one's got the name of the scholarship that will pay for your tuition fees and uh, give you a salary, basically. And that applies to home, EU, and overseas students. So you have to check all these little details out for each PhD that you're interested in. Um, and here's something quite interesting. There's references. So I haven't seen this too much in the PhD uh, listings, but this is really good to do some background research into your interviewers and to what the project's going to be about that you're going to be spending three years of your life on. And it shows the interviewers that you're on top of it, that you're dedicated and you care about the, uh, the interview. Okay, so that's a little intro into how I found my PhD. Uh, I found the website quite interesting. Um, there are loads of little things that I'll talk about another day, um, say like the different types of funding. Um, 
But yeah, it's really good to explore. Uh, I did a little search for engineering, uh, pre-generic, and there are about one and a half thousand of them. So, spend some time on there. Uh, I hope this was useful, and have a good day.